new look in Autzen Stadium, the size Oregon Ducks and the brand new field turf with the Pac-10 logo, the bright Oregon in the end zone. A lot of fans in yellow, and we are underway here in the 2010 season. The defending Pac-10 champions, Barner picks it up at the one, tries to make something out of it. He'll go down at the 10-yard line, and that's where the offense will start. New Mexico coming off a 1-10 season last year. Here's Barner, big pull outside to the 50-yard line and into New Mexico territory at the 49. Thomas has not carried the ball yet. Here comes the blitz. Here they come. Little screen play is set up. Mail, everybody's out there. Here's Mail. Mail to the 30. Ducks inside to the 25. And a great play call against a blitzing defense on third and long. Kenyon Barner is deep. The ball gets away. It's on the ground. Aho just goes down and covers it. And Oregon will have the ball just about where they did when they turned the ball over. Barner already with 47 yards on the game, seven carries. He lines up in the backfield. Darren Thomas has not carried the ball yet. I think the fans are wanting him to do it. Will pump fake throws it outside. Caught out of bounds at the one-yard line. Two and a had it, but wasn't able to get in the end zone. Right. Thomas hands it off to Barner, who walks into the end zone for the touchdown. You know, you don't have Will Tukwafu, but you've got a lot of guys with a lot of experience on the front end, and this one's complete over the middle, and the catch is made by Ty Kirk, who has his second catch of the day. Dennis goes in motion. They'll run an option to the near side, and really nowhere to go for Holbrook, and he goes down. Here we go, Oregon's third offensive possession. Thomas pitches it out. A lot of room out there for Barner. He'll pick up 10, 11, 12, 13, maybe 16 yards on the play. Thomas looking to throw. Down to has it over the middle. Has it to Paulson. Paulson in the end zone for the touchdown. Darren Thomas' his first touchdown pass. Pressure coming. Stands out over the middle. And Matthews had it, but I think the receiver might have taken it away. No. Casey Matthews with the interception. That's a tough ball up the seam. He put it on his back shoulder instead of his front and allowed Casey to get in there and make a play. Thomas looking down the field. Threads the needle to Jeff Mayo for the 25. 19 yards on the play. Thomas 11 of 16, 123 already. Hands off. Big hole. Kenyon Barner. Barner to the 10. Barner 5. Touchdown, Kenyon Barner. That is speed. Talk about Kenyon Barner. A lot of guys are always quick, they're strong, but also they have breakaway speed. He has all three. And number 24, again, I say this, if he was starting on another Pac-10 team, he would be first team all Pac-10 running back. He's that good. Second goal from the 10. They'll hand it to Barner. Barner to the corner. His third touchdown of the day in the first quarter. Boy, I tell you what, they've got so many wrinkles, so many wrinkles off of this option, option offense. So many times they've been given it, given it, given it. Now watch the defensive end collapse. Kenyon Barner goes right around the corner. He's been hitting it up inside all day. I mean, just so many different options with this spread offense. Ducks up on it. They'll run it. Hit behind the line. And it ball is loose on the ground. No matter what, it'll be Oregon football on the fourth down play, whether they recover it or not. It's just a stat situation at this point. Well, exactly. That, that's been some of the things he's had to work on yeah. this year in camp is anticipating those throws. Here's Barner. Big hole. Barner breaks it outside. Here's Barner. He's going to go to the 10. Touchdown. Touchdown number four for Kenyon Barner. And the ball with the big offensive line. Okay, and the holes that they are creating and the, and the downfield running that Kenyon Barner provides, just give the ball to number 24. Thomas, he drop a little screen pass to Barner. He's got a few blockers. He just follows his blockers, and now he pops out. Barner to the 30. He will go again. Five touchdowns for Kenyon Barner. That ties an Austin record. 60 yards on the play. Wait, now remember, he's the backup. <laughs> he's not the starter. Isn't LaMichael James the starter? This kid can play. Number 24 is a playmaker. Scary, Anthony. 
I mean, it's scary to think about these two backs, Michael James and Kenyon Barner, in the same backfield for the length. So sophomores? Sophomores. Sophomores. So and, and what do you do as a defense? What do you stop? Who do you want to stop? Michael James? Well, you know about Michael James, but then Kenyon Barner will hurt you. That's that's a tough situation for the defense. And scare. And this one's a high booming punt that will be taken by Barner. This is not Barner. Down the sideline. To Harris! Harris! Harris into the end zone! Touchdown, Cliff Harris! How many guys are there? Well, I've always said Cliff Harris was probably the best cornerback they have, and he's not playing a cornerback position today, but now he's a punt returner. And again, the blocking downfield, and I like this as a punt returner. Attack the ball north and south right when you get it. Don't try to go east and west. North and south, set up your defenders. Nice little stiff arm, get to the end zone. Harris waiting the punt. The Ferris has it, makes a nice move. There he goes again. Harris into the clear. Harris. Oh, does he stay up? He does. Does he have speed? Harris. Oh, my goodness. Cliff Harris, his second punt return for a touchdown of the day. Can you believe that? What, what do you say to that? Uh, I don't at, know. At this point, uh, let, uh, the only thing that pops into my head at this point comes from, it's what my my son has been saying. Those 16-month-old Jack, all you can say is, bah. Well, yeah, I don't bah. know. <laughs> I don't. Is that what it is? Bah. bah. What's he trying to say? I don't know, but I don't know what else to say right now. Bah. 65 yards, Cliff Harris, his second punt return for a touchdown today. It's 58 to nothing. And Solis comes in for the extra point. Somebody add up how many times he's had to kick the ball in the first half. Here's Remine Alston. Pick up six yards on the play. I think it's a steady dose of this, guys, for the second half, don't you think? Well, yeah, Remine is a tough running back. He's a hard-nosed running back. Uh, he's not like Kenyon Barner or LaMichael James, and he's pretty solid. He's, you know, 5'11", 215 pounds, and he knows nothing but north and south, and, and I'm, I'm going to truck somebody. I'm going to run over somebody. Costa throws it, complete. Fighting for a first down. Hawkins, Darrell Hawkins. Darrell Hawkins. So somebody will figure it out. He's got some serious lactic acid in his wings right now. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a ball that's intercepted, I believe. It is, Holbrook is intercepted. So third and six here for Costa. Blitz coming, throws it to the outside. Wide open is Reed out there. Reed takes it down to the 20-yard line. And Costa moves the chains with a nice throw. This time from the left hash. He set. Costa puts it down. His kick is low and through. That was a double. He's rounding first and heading for second. Lobos today, one of ten on third down, guys. Well, one third down conversion all day. Nothing's worked for the Lobos. I mean, it, you know, when it rains, it pours. They're trying to go quick. Play, action. play action. Nice play. The ball gets tipped, and to the ground it falls, and Oregon will take over. Great penetration and pressure there. <laughs> well, he's looking so good. Fans are going to say, okay, let's go with this guy. Well, let's not forget. The game's not in question anymore. Oh, this ball's on the turf. Oregon recovers. 6-4 from Omaha. The other part is he's been good at quarterback. It's yes. just that Brian Bennett came in, the true freshman, and knocked everyone's socks off. Makes a good read here. Takes off up the middle. Has another first down. You start calling him Slash? Well, <laughs> that, I mean, he's, Dan Fouch was obviously, what was that, 70 to 73? Yeah. Hawkins, nice slide of hand. Hawkins to the 10, inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Double tights. Hawkins going to keep it. Needs a block. Hawkins dives to the end zone and scores the touchdown. Daryl Hawkins leads a nice drive. He didn't have to this week because, well, frankly, he ran the ball so well. Speak of the devil. Remini, can he get there? Remini to the 10, the five-yard line. Almost the Austin record. Seven with yards. 
And that's going to do it. Here at Austin Stadium, a successful debut. Fans with a big ovation for their Ducks.